All right, we've got another 338 Lapua we're going to start load testing on today. This one's a Savage 110 FCP 338 Lapua. It comes with a uh, HS Precision vertical grip stock. And it comes with that 20 MOA rail, a five shot magazine. It's a 26 inch barrel. And I've added a Millet LRS1 scope. Uh, it's the first time we've shot with it too, so no review on that yet. And a uh, Kydex cheek riser. If you're going to shoot this rifle, um, you will definitely have to have some type of cheek pad or cheek riser, or you won't be able to see through the scope. So we're going to take some shots. All right, this first load test with the Savage 110 FCP is going to be 88 grains of Reloader 25 over 250 grain CNRL Lapua brass and Federal 215 match primers. Alright, this load will be out of the Savage 110, and this is Lapua Brass 250 grain CNRL over 88.5 grains of Reloader 25. All right, these uh, shots on the left here, I believe they're probably about three inches, probably about MOA, and uh, that was 88 grains. 88.5 grains is these here. Now it's definitely shooting. It was definitely shooting hotter and higher. I'd probably drop this one. I wouldn't blame that on the rifle just yet. We'll find out. It's still early. These are. It's one of the first probably 15 shots out of the rifle, so we'll find out. But assuming I drop this one, this one's pretty good. So Reloader 25 might be one that we bring the chronograph out if it remains accurate. And, you know, of course, if this winds up being my fault, um, it might be one that uh, we bring the chronograph out and see how it does there, too. Because we're trying to kind of combine the two.